Hello students, welcome to Short of Sir Classes. Today the question is about the sequence of a novel protein. So the question we have asked here, which one of the following techniques cannot be used? They cannot be used to determine the sequence of a novel protein. So there are the options and here the options are de novo sequencing by this method then the this is also called de novo sequencing method and the option b is eidman degradation option c is sanger sequencing option d is peptide mass fingerprinting and the correct answer will be option d why because this peptide mass fingerprinting is an is an analytical technique is an analytical technique for protein identification this is for protein identification identification in which the unknown protein that is our interest that is first cleaved that is first cleaved into so smaller pieces or smaller proteins or peptides so that then we can identify the target protein but this whole mass or the may their masses cannot be masses cannot be analyzed analyzed let me use the eraser that cannot be analyzed by this technique peptide mass fingerprinting so hope you can understand what this peptide mass fingerprinting stands for and the correct answer will be option D for this question so moving to the next question and the question is about the polyacrylamide gel that is also called page that is be used to analyzing the four different protein that are listed below these are the proteins and the answers are this so the correct option will be option C as it says it is 12 percent in gel and pH 3 to 10 so why this answer is suitable for this question or the it is the correct answer let me tell you one thing if the percentage of the percentage of gel is very high is high then what happen then there will be problem to resolve the protein problem to resolve resolve the very narrow size protein narrow size protein so this will be a problem and if the percentage is high of gel percentage is oh that was high so now if we take percentage gel percentage is low then what happened the that will be very important that will be important for mobility for mobility that will ease the mobility so now what is about pH so pH we must fall in a range of a protein so we should select a range that is in a way that all pi of the protein all pi that is isoelectric point of proteins that will be fall in a range fall in a range of means if this is a ph range if if this is a ph range and here is the isoelectric point 
for suppose three proteins these are the isoelectric point they are fall in a range and they must let me choose another color that will help you to understand okay so suppose there are some proteins like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seven proteins eight proteins they have isoelectric point in this range and this range suppose it is about 12 and this is like if 7 so 7 to 12 so we must choose so we must choose in a range that the isoelectric point of all those protein that falls in a range so that that will work very efficiently so this 12 percent gel and ph that is 3 to 10 that helps these four kind of protein that are listed here to used for in page in page now moving to the next question and the question is about a peptide that has been given and the number of fragment that generated when this peptide is subjected to complete digestion with trypsin so trypsin with the digestion with this peptide what will be happen so what will be the number of fragments that is our question now first let me tell you what trypsin do trypsin that only cleaves at only cleaves at the c terminal site c terminal site so now the c terminal site if they cleaved on this portion then what will happen the cleavage occurs within the polypeptide chain rather than at the terminal rather than at the terminal polypeptide chain terminal polypeptide chain so if trypsin cleaves then it should be c terminal side that is carboxylic side carboxylic side so now if you look into the fragment that we have now let me just first clean the screen so that i can make you understand okay so now this is our fragment and i'm just choosing red color so now they are at the c terminal at the point of this that is when the peptide is have this fragment there will be a fragment again the fragment will be this and rest will be another fragment so we will have three fragments so answer will be three here thank you for watching this video